This training video was developed by the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading in the UK and is part of a range of resources aimed at researchers. Creating a remote DDS in Moodle. We assume that you have already set up a local DDS and in this video we will show you how to upload the local DDS to create a remote DDS in the Moodle site provided by the SSC. There are four steps to do this. One, create a zip file containing the whole of your local DDS. Two, log in on your project DDS site on Moodle. Three, using the files link, upload the zip file from your local computer. Four, unzip the zipped DDS. Zipping up a file, let me show you how to do this on a computer that runs on Windows XP, but it is pretty much the same for a computer running on a Microsoft operating system. Select all the files and folders in the local DDS. Right-click on the mouse and select Send to Compressed Folder. The zipped file is now created. You may want to change the file name if you are not happy with the automatic name generated by Windows. Now you need to log in to your project's DDS site on Moodle. Go to www.statistics-training.org and using your username and password, log in to the site. Of course, this assumes that your project's DDS remote space has been set up for you. If you don't have it yet, please contact the SSC team. To be able to upload files, you need to be a named site manager. This is done by the SSC technical support when your site is set up. If you need to add project members as site managers, please get in touch with the SSC. Uploading the zipped file. If you're a site manager, you will have access to the files link on the left column of the screen. Click on Files. Click on the button Upload a File. Click on Browse to find the zipped file in your computer. Click on Upload this file. The file now appears in the list of files in the directory. Now it only remains to unzip the DDS. Select Unzip from the options at the side of the file and you are done. Now you can check the structure of your remote DDS and we'll notice that the same folder structure and files that you have in your local DDS are now stored in the remote DDS. Well done.